Number nine, and Cripps now. Fisher with a quick kick forward. Holding the man. Advantage, advantage. So Cunningham's kicked the goal after Silvani had an advantage played on, so Carlton break the rot. As we said there, another clearance in from, from Carlton. This time they are at a contest. They are holding the arm and a nice little finish. That's where they, they've just got to keep working in here, keep bashing in against them. Uh, they they were obviously want a better start, but Richmond coming. And on the left, he sits it into the square. Some nice ball movement, front on front contact. On contact. Yep. You, you and it's Cunningham. You mentioned goal smart, I told you, but Thanks, Vision guys. there. So he could have just bombed it to the top of the square, but he saw someone in the goal square and knew he had to get it there really fast. Cunningham. With the number third as well. Yep. And he's got his second. Two in a row blues. As soon as he's starting to close in on a lot of them at Carlton in terms of games played. Play on. Bradley the benchmark. Yeah. Cunningham and up and under. He missed a chance a moment ago. McGovern front and centre. And really become a factor. You. Lowers the eyes inside 50. Cunningham's pickup was good. Shovels it back to Martin. Who's Ebert. Playing against the class outfit. It's a good grab there from Cunningham. Oh. There's a couple of Melbourne players. Here's an opportunity for Cunningham. Steps one way. Kai's down there, got a hand on it. Smith was there to try and knock it away as well. Day by Cunningham. Burst through his hands. Eight to the tap out the back. Oh, May! Big fly over the top of McGovern. Here's an opportunity for the Blues through Cunningham. Streaks into an open goal. And finally, the Blues kick their first deep in the first half. Oh, well done. Well done. A long time coming. Um, I won't even say it was badly needed. But and the, the fortuitous part was it was, it was this kick that I've been talking about hasn't been ideal. Well done, he read that. That kick there hasn't been working, and on this occasion it shouldn't have been because they were outnumbered again. It was just that Stephen May got the mark and let the ball go over the back. So they pinched one there, which was fine. They got it from a, a stoppage, which hasn't been, you know, clearly has been going all the other way. So. I mean, they get it back to they get it back to 35 points, nearly half time. They had a big second half here, as you pointed out, against Richmond, so they'll be hanging on to that. But gee, they need one. They need just one. Back to Gibbons, and that's a good ball. A more confident with ball in hand now, the Blues. Cunningham looks at what options he's got. Down the line to Mackay, if he can get up there. There's the hands again. Rated this lad. He doesn't lower his colours too often at all, Jacob Weaver. It's a good grab too by Cunningham. Thought his way through it. Side 50s now, they lead it, Carl. 43 to 35. Cunningham will get it back from the 1 2. Mackay provides a lead. They've got players deep. Big marking contest this one and again. Oh, they collide. Ball hits the deck. Big ball to win. Cunningham won it. Good last week. Down to Jack Stephen. Handball not so good. Turned it over. Cunningham. Gibbons, Murphy, kickable, needs to strike it well, struck it beautifully. Got it to half forward, Cunningham playing in front, back oh. to Cripps, it was there for him. Play on, play on, mate. They're getting the, a couple of shots even though they're butchering it a bit in front of the sticks. Gee, that's a great oh, kick coming out of defence from Doherty. That's a spear over 45 metres. To Cunningham, wide, and getting back Williamson. They've got one-on-ones ahead, Eddie Betts is a small against the big blitzers. He pulls the kick to Cunningham instead. Just playing smart footy when they need to, the Blues. Hold Grind, go closer. Casbolt now feeding as the leading target. It's in his direction, and he's got it. Play on, ball knocked Grant. out. Grant. Possession number three, floats it to half forward. Cunningham did well, did really well. Clearing kick, now Cunningham read it well, and he got past Saar, that's not easy to do. Gibbons, Cunningham. Did superbly well, took a bounce. There is nothing up forward except that he bets. That's v one Cunningham's a talent. And just heading off with a couple of Carlton officials there, perhaps to go and get some scans or just get home and make sure he's well looked after. Oh, to to David. Yeah, Sends it back. Cunningham's had a nice start to this game. Sam Doherty on the left. Can Get it to Cunningham, who's knocked up getting the footy. Possession number 18. Shield has just jagged his foot a little bit as he's getting towards the end one way or another. So he'll have to work through that with the club. They'll rats will let him know where he's at. Cunningham going back. Ahead here, the Saints. 
Handball came on that occasion. Bowman saying, come on, come on, come up, come up. And Cunningham does that. But I tell you what, the defensive transition of the Saints tonight has also been excellent. A bit of a prayer here, hope ball and good mark taken by Pitt. Set of field there, Cunningham comes in, applies the tackle on Gresham. Occasion, so Cripps is able to penetrate the forward end of the ground. Good mark taken by Cunningham. Test from all players who flew. Mackay tried to pick it and go. Cunningham did get it, gave it to Refke Seaton. Flicks it wide. Cunningham. Opens it up. He hits a good spot. McGovern back to go forward. Fumble from Butler under some pressure. Cunningham bumps him off it. Open space ahead for the Blues. Gets the Shepherd. McGovern made some space for him. Mackay. Your spot. Well played though. Plowman drives his way through them. Maybe a late roll of the dice here for the Blues. Cunningham goes long. Eddie's over the back. Eddie's lurking. Eddie gathers. Eddie goes. Oh. Nobody does it better than Eddie. Tough, but once they got goal side. Then it just became a race between the captain and Eddie. Wh whose ball is it? I think you defer to the little master in that situation. The man has been able to do it from every possible angle on every ground around the country. And the advantage is paid. Cunningham darts away, uses the left to get it to half forward. Mackay was in perfect position to take that mark. Does he go on his own? He's had a look inside. Two bounces. It gets better and better for Big Harry. The greatest challenge for all teams, but in particular the Blues over recent years. They finally get the ball on the outside. They get that one-on-one -on -one that they have been craving. Outs on Carlton's terms. As Martin gave it to the dash of Cunningham and watch out. Jack Martin, there's three Carlton players who are goal side of their opponents. He waited for the best one to emerge and then said, oh, kick the goal anyway. Oh, they're hot, Carlton. Obviously didn't see him, but he's just so far up oh, the ground. That is a gift and Cunningham happily accepts it. Disaster for Jamie McMillan. This thing's happened in footy, but looking all forward at the moment, the Kangaroos, as the Blues pounce and go to a three-goal lead. But I, I like that, Hutto. Kicks a goal and just gets on with it. Doesn't have to go over to the opponent and rub his nose in it. He knows he made a mistake and made him pay in the biggest way. 100%. I was about to say the same thing, Paul. Any other day, 10 players come over yeah. and get in McMillan's face, push him around, say, you idiot, look what you've done. Go and just clap Cunningham on the back and say, well done, teammates. great finish, we're up and about. Be positive. Not a great hand pass. <laughs> <laughs> missed his hand completely. Yeah, technically I don't think it was a hand pass. Yeah. <laughs> Very rare that you see an airy with the hand under no pressure. Full stretch, Kennedy through the legs of his nutmeg Goldstein that time. The handballs continue, that was a ripper. And well summed it up, he knew what he could do across the body. He did a really clever kick in the first turn, a great hand pass here. It just opens up the play. The presence to draw the ball, so they, they're reacting more than pro, being proactive. Snatched by Cunningham over the big fella. Donald first, set of field, Pollock suddenly found the footy near him. Cunningham pounced, and he is a long kick of the footy. Is he a straight kick this time? Oh, yes, he is. That is a brilliant goal, and I'll tell you one thing that he did particularly well, Lee. We've seen a lot of players fumbling the ball. He turned, swiveled, grabbed the ball clean as a whistle, which gave him the most time that he possibly could have to change direction, face the goals, and pick out his target. So many players have been fumbling when the ball's been down. He gets a, a nice little bounce when it comes his way, but he just handles it so cleanly. Just picks it up. He, he, just put, great he put 20 metres on the car, didn't he? Just by not fumbling and just having that agility right from when you mark the ball. You never know what's behind you, so if you can have that step straight away when you get the ball, it just breaks any sort of pressure that may be coming from behind. A really classy finish. Jace, you spoke about goals at a premium. That was a really important touch. An opportunity. Now it's Kennedy that nudges it forward for the Blues. Cunningham. Hacked forward. And the cut and thrust of it all as the clock counts down under six minutes now. That was a great option off the deck. Cunningham again. He's thriving in these conditions. That would have been even better than the, the last one. He's handling it like a clean ball. His eyes lit up. Yeah. His direction says uh, 
A good positive start onto that left boot from Harry. Deep to Cunningham, who takes the mark. So Cunningham, who kicked a couple of goals last week. Five goals, five for the season, is about to line up to give the Blues an excellent start. Well, he was in red-hot form, Mackay, before he's out, injured last two games before that. Three goals, three goals, so uh, it's great to see him leading up at the ball, but when he turned around, he just had multiple options. You know, Hawthorne defenders were caught out with the quick ball movement, and he chose the right one in the end. Conversion from here should be elementary for David Cunningham, and so it proves Carlton with the first. And what a positive start it is for the Blues. So uh, way into the midfield consistently now for Carlton. And Easter in the kick. Walsh, plenty on it. Here comes Levi, fighting across the front, and he takes the mark. Didn't really, but he just he realised he was in the folly of what he'd done. But back in action so quickly now. Gibbons. And it's two on one in Carlton's favour. Mackay. Oh, gets underneath it. Fisher at the back of the pack. It's Florent coming the other way. You kept it alive. Cunningham. Powerman with the inside handle. Walsh. Beautiful mover. Now Cunningham on the cruise through the middle. This is a bit that's been letting him. It was 4v1 at ground level. Great mark to Cunningham. So the seconds tick down. They've got 15 left to use. Goal to Cripps. Used his muscle on Smith, but then he's barreled. Gets it to Cunningham. He's got Walsh on the run. It was a tough one. Cunningham stands under this and he's got it. Williamson caught, dropped it. Cunningham back against the grain. Petrescu Seaton knocks it down towards Kurno. Back to Petrescu Seaton. Good smother on the ball by Simpson. Back to Cunningham. Flicks it wide and they've got possession again, the Blues. Shoal got both hands on it, knocked it down to Cunningham. Because no team punishes turnovers. Better than the Brisbane Lions. Pretty lucky there, the Blues. Cunningham. Mackay emerging. And rich ground. Robinson went to ground. Finals with Harris Andrews with a hamstring. Charlie Cameron to it. Now they're starting to bring some forward 50 heat. Ricochet's back out. Nice pick up from Leicester. Then he was dragged down as he. Give it a genuine attempt. No, he hasn't. Oh, yeah, so, uh, nice tackle. David Cunningham. Oh, now play on. So there's an option oh, right through the, the ground. Mackay. Can he deal his opponent pain? Still a live footy there. Cunningham went back, picked it up pretty well. Almost Lockie Neal to save the day. Picked up. Here's his marker, Kerno. That's heading towards goal. He might have got it. Ed Kerno, he has. Hasn't he up in Brisbane? He's a happy boy. Yes, mate. Yeah.